Right, ladies and gents, uh, oh, the baker tent, and the supporter is going to get on on it as well. Don't worry. Um, cracking nice, nice bag, heavy duty material, two handles. Um, it's all the way out. And what I, I've got to say, ladies and gents, you get more than enough room. So this is the second time um, I've packed this tent in here, and there's no problems with getting it in or out. Um, simple, works. I put a lot of extra gear in here today because I'm changing over some guy lines and stuff like that. Uh, first one we got there is the Hughes. The, ma the whole thing's massive, okay? It's massive. The ground sheet, and I'll, I'll show you close up. This is a really, really robust ground sheet. Even the ground sheet has been seal seamed. Um, and I am like mega impressed with that. I think that'll be the green that the green tents come in. So there we go, big ground sheet. tent itself. Now the actual tent, if you didn't want to use a ground sheet, would only come to that and that's not too heavy in itself. I'll be doing all the weights later on because uh, I'll have to take individual things out, weigh them and then give you the whole weight, uh, add it all up. But I'll put some of my own poles in there ladies and gents. And again, there's a really nice pole bag, all the different poles. And in there is all the pegs. Now, they come with an industry standard peg, which I'll show you later on, but I've substituted uh, uh, some of my own IPK pegs. And uh, all I've done is uh, thrown a few bits in there, because it comes with white guidelines. I'm just changing over to sort of a more forest-friendly one, uh, some beige ones that still can be seen, uh, and a few connectors. Again, you've seen it's, it's some white, it's some white string on the side, like gents. Yeah, and a little tape measure to measure that out, and some rings. But yeah, so that's that's basically what you get, ladies and gents. It comes with everything you need. Poles. It's even got two poles for the front. Um, and at that point, I think I'll shut up. Right, ladies and gents. Here we can see the uh, ground sheet. Very robust. Two reinforcement points there for your poles. Certainly getting uh, your money's worth on this. Really robust uh, ground sheet. Um, you lay that out first, and uh, obviously you you got to you know you know exactly where you're going to be placing the tent outer. But uh, I'll measure that and I'll get back to you. Right, ladies and gents, we've just measured this out. It's just near enough four meters. Okay, three meters ninety from apex to apex. It's just shy of two metres um, width, okay? And uh, obviously, as what I said, there's going to be a pole, there's going to be a pole, and that is just over two metres, okay? So, you've certainly got enough room to lay down. I'm six foot, by the way, just to give you an idea, and that's how it is. Um, proper, really robust uh, material. It's even seal seamed underneath there. Tagged all the way around. And, you know, for the money, putting a reinforcement pouch in there, absolutely spot on, ladies and gents. I've got no problems with this ground sheet whatsoever. I could see me using the ground sheet at other times, even when I'm not using the tent. But yeah, loving it so far. And as I said there, uh, use this as a, a pattern to put your tent up. Again, I'm not going to, I'm just going to be bringing you back. I'm not going to show you how to put a tent up and, you know, waste your time. Right ladies and gents, just bringing it back. Here is the temp peg, you get loads of them with it, sufficient temp pegs, uh, and I've used them um, to put the ground sheet in. However, because this is a heavy duty robust tent, I'm just um, substituting my own temp pegs, which is, you know, uh, IPK peg. Um, but just wanted to bring your attention to all the tie out points. Every single one is properly stitched here, ladies and gents. There's no skimping on the manufacturer here everything's double seamed every eyelet as we see there has been reinforced and they go all the way around but every piece of strapping it's got like uh, the England flag there sewn all the way around and then they put an eyelet in there obviously should you want an eyelet eyelets all the way around this absolutely fantastic um, put that down to the ground and what I do love and it's there already quality of design and what you're getting for your dollar or your pound is absolutely fantastic because uh, they've got the little bungee cords 
Just again, helps with the old wind. Put one in there if you want, but when you've got the bungee, it just gives you a little bit of go um, and it help keep the uh, thing from putting too much pressure on any of your stitching, so any of your joins, uh, when you get a, a windy day. Love that. Cracking. And as we're going to look here, really, really decent zips. But once they're tensioned, got no problems opening them or closing them. And like I say, fairly decent flat. And it's double material, double stitched everywhere. Every se se seam is sealed. All the little toggles, quality of manufacture, absolutely fantastic, ladies and gents. And this material, proper, proper robust. I say it's got to be like 300 denier or something like that. Yeah, 300 uh, denier, and then the old uh, reflecting. Yeah, silver side on silver the inside. Side. Uh, and it's all hemmed. It's not just sewn under. It's proper hemmed and that. Uh, absolutely quality. fantastic quality, quality. Hey, away we go. Right, ladies and gents. Um, just so you can see it in the daylight, um, there's the out of the tent, again absolutely fantastic, um, that's for your guy lines, when was the last time you saw that on the tent? Yeah. yeah. Uh, on the inside, just so you can see what you're getting, is uh, they properly reinforced this in there and it's almost hard, it's conical shape, so the poles do stay in there, but that's what you get in there. Uh, I've, I've had it up yesterday, very windy day on the old front lawn there, and uh, these poles are quite stable in there. But again, as we can see, every single seam, the zips, all sewn and sealed, all over. Can't, can't fault the manufacturer. And, and the waterproof sealed as well over yeah. the top of the stitching. Yeah, absolutely spot on. This is almost like, you know what they do to Gore-Tex? Yeah. Gore-Tex with me. Yeah. Really. Most of the old tents are done there with that now. That's yeah. uh, heat seaming. Yeah. And this is, even this is robust. It's not like, you know, the lightweight stuff. And the zips. I've, I've not even found a thread hanging so far. No. So quality ladies and gentlemen. Good really and cleaning, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that goes in there. And that goes in there. And it's a conical shape when it goes up. Just wanted to show you that. But every single piece of stitching on here is double stitched. Just wow. It's a yeah. double machine, isn't it? Double yeah. head, uh, yeah. double needle. Proper impressed. And for those of you who don't know me, I do my own sewing up and so forth, so I've got a fair idea what I'm talking about, ladies and gents. Yeah, it's quality, quality. 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 I can the, vouch for that. Yeah, at the very top end, ladies and gents. And you know me, there was some myth here. I spotted one little thing, which I'll bring you back for. Right, ladies and gents, I'm not going to teach you how to put up a tent. All I've done is the ground sheet's been pegged down. It's uh, of a master. All the other ones go adjacent to, but slightly further out of. I've unzipped one side of the tent. Got my pole, and voila. And at this point, we've still got no guidelines up. The second one. These ones are easy to identify because they've both got a black um, nylon tip on them. The other ones are different tops. So you can't adjust them poles in it. No, they are exactly the right height, and they're 1.45, did we say? Yeah. 1.45. Again, that's standing up on its own. I'll get the guard lines out, ladies and gents, and I'll bring you back. Right, ladies and gents, here we see it up now. Uh, only thing I've done last time. When you see the tight points there, they give you plenty of rope, but it's just a uh, really robust um, rope uh, for your tight points. Um, but it's white, so I've, I've just changed that, because uh, I can. I don't know why I've got a kink in it there, probably one of the pegs is coming out. But there 
and stitching on there ladies and gents absolutely spot on and obviously if you want to roll the front up there's the two toggles there and uh, yeah I'll just show you what quality is um, and well that's sewn on there again there's a zipper coming in and out of each side you can go in and out of way on the apex and uh, all I've done rather than have just one going to there if you're coming in and out the side as you can see there ladies and gents just a little I'm setting this up I'm showing you it I'm setting this up so um, I will be ready to use next time is uh, I like to have two um, peg out points Let's see that one there. Yes, ladies and gents. Uh, yeah, I just like to uh, peg out points that way if you're coming in and out this way. Um, if you haven't got that one bit of string there. But they give you some really robust string, just it's white and I wanted to change it. Uh, as we see there, nice coverings on the zips. Shouldn't think we're going to have any danger with water ingress there. And here. Again, if you want to tie out your sides, put your toggles there loads of peg out points on that as well and should it get windy I would, I would actually use these as well so as you can see down there each one is properly sort of sewn in and again at that side just taking two guard lines off here we see it from the other side ladies and gents Okay, a little kink in it now, just need to adjust that down a little bit. But yeah, I am mega, mega happy with this almost. Two metres wide, just short of four metres long, two metres between the poles. Each side can open, and both this, the back, and the front, whichever way you're going to set it up, it don't matter. No mucking about with it, because uh, each side has got its own zip system. Again, tie-out points at the top. I literally can't think of absolutely anything wrong with this. I've got a minor point which I will cover, as you know, I'm always honest. Right, my uh, minor point or point to note, ladies and gents, there's a piece of velcro at the bottom and a piece of velcro there. That's, that's adequate, more than enough velcro. But my only mute point is very sticky velcro that's fine that's sewn on no problems with that but as we see here see the two lines are stitching you've got this little flappy bit I uh, can't see that causing too much of a problem and if it did I'll get some Gutman glue and just glue it down but it's not causing a problem and as you see it's uh, properly nicely stitched velcro as well See, see where it's stitching, you've got a little flap there. That's it. Literally, ladies and gents, even if I wanted to tear this thing to shreds, and I'd always like to give just a, an honest viewpoint on something, no can do. Every single piece of stitching, double stitched. Impressed with the stitching. Yeah, and sealed on the inside. Especially that, that core at the bottom with the uh, tape. Yeah. Double the it is, mate. I'm just thinking at this point, blind me. There's got to be something wrong with it, mate. But if I can't see it, if you can't, no. no. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's like a baker tent. So uh, well, it's like a normal tent because you can get in that side and you can get in that side, ladies and gents. But it's got a, a, another little thing that actually made me pull the trigger on it. And I'll show you what that is. I'll bring you back. Right, ladies and gentlemen, just give you uh, so an impression of the size of the thing. Uh, Mr. Baldrick's going in there, and I'll just get Marty Cuff to walk in there. Because it's just give you an impression of the size of the thing. Get down. Get down. Get down. Because I'll get in there in a second. I'll have a, a lay in there. Just give you a, a size. Lay down. No, I'll, I'll do that in a sec, mate. Ooh, 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 ooh. But yeah, ladies and gents, this is enough. I, it did 
it didn't say it come with these poles, you know, the two poles there, said buy separately, but my, my one came with it, I hope yours does too, if you fancy one of these. Um, I certainly think they should sell it as a whole package. Um, but yeah, I, I've looked at this tent every which way I can, apart from that little Velcro tab thing, which isn't going to be an issue in any way, it's spot on, mate, isn't it? Right, ladies and gents, you've just seen the uh, mighty cup in there. I'm six foot. Average. And uh, here we go, Mr. Baldrick's obviously going to come in. Oh, oh Mr. Baldrick approves. Um, yeah, between the two poles, that's where you'll be sleeping. It's certainly, without a shadow of a doubt, a two man tent with all your kit that will go in the vestibules. One kit down there, one kit there. And you don't have to be very good friends because there's, there's a, a ton of room in here. Um, silver sided. Um, these are the, the tie outs for um, when you want to roll it up as opposed to um, literally lifting the flap up. But in between there and there, these are all little hanging points for your um, a fly net. and that type of stuff. The a fly net, yeah. Yeah. Um, going all little tie out points all the way around. <laughs> I'm really, really loving uh, this tent. Um, a minor point, just that bit of Velcro. It's not grieving me in any way. Now this has cost me £113. Ladies and gents, if you want one, I've got no affiliation to the seller. Just found a brilliant bit of kit, and as I reserved the right to do, show you. A um, lot of interest is when I put a few pictures on Facebook yesterday. Wow, for £113. What a lot of tent. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I couldn't buy the material for that. And if I can buy some of this material, I will be doing so. Ladies and gents, um, let your eyes be your guide on this. Like I say, I'm not affiliated to the seller in any way. Uh, I, I, I just really, really happy beyond belief. This is the tent that you wanted when you first started buying tents. <laughs> You've got a little bit of versatility at the end, you can close both sides down and open the ends. Yeah, so, you know, and this one will open up as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, it just opens up exactly the same as the front. No need to show you that. And like I say, both uh, vestibules on either side will open up should you want to do so. So it is like a, a winter tent and a summer tent. You know, you're just going to open it up when you want that air flowing for it. I really don't think it's um, a problem. Now, if you don't like your bugs and so forth, that's fine. Just get a bug net. There's loads of hanging points in here, ladies and gents. You can string one from the two there. Um, you can easily put your own bug net in there if, if you so wish. Don't really seem to bother me. The only time I'd use one if I was in like deep, 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 deep Scotland where they got them uh, killer ninja midges. <laughs> Other than that, you know, uh, they don't come near me because you know they they'll know I'm a, you know an old soldier and I'll eat them. But ladies and gents, what a cracking tent. Um, really, really happy with this. And I can't fault it. I can't fault it, you know. Um, Just put the cam on again because there's a fair old wind coming through there and it seems to be handling it. Obviously, any tent, no matter which one, once you set it up like that and the wind's coming in that way, it's going to act like a sail. But nice one, ladies and gents. I do like that. All right, ladies and gents, obviously, them little tags that hang down uh, certainly can be utilised. Just put my little light up there. You know, simple click on. Uh, yeah, your sleeping area down the back, kit either side, huge admin area at the front, and uh, as Marty said, you could have a, a small little fire out here. Okay, it can't be massive, uh, even though that's reflective, you don't want to burn it, you cry. <laughs> but ladies and gents, you know, my instant, <laughs> what are you doing, Baldrick? <laughs> What's that? It's not food. <laughs> Let's be dog. Um, yeah. Proper happy with this. Right, right, right. And Mr. Baldwin, he approves. Yeah, I've got a few ideas with uh, a few little mods I want to do for this, ladies, but ladies and gents. But uh, you know, I'm just showing you what this tent is at the moment. Um, so I'll keep them to myself and until I actually get them done, and then bring them out. Again, can't find a single thing. I did, ladies and gents. Sorry, always honest, honest Jack. Look, 
there is one thread hanging and there it is now it's not hanging but that is it then two little bits of velcro that ain't gonna cause a problem but literally one thread hanging I know it's sat and left that there just to catch it on film <laughs> as you know on the show when it comes to showing your kit let your eyes be your guide on this one ladies and gents but uh, I am one happy puppy as you can probably tell <laughs>